But besides all the upcoming happenings at the Mesa Mall, the shopping center hosted this year's safety fair and Grand Junction tradition nearly 40 years in the making. The goal of the fair is to teach kids and their families how to stay safe and healthy in a variety of different ways, from good eating and healthy habits to trusting law enforcement and staying away from dangerous weather. Seeing a fire truck outside of Mesa Mall could be cause for concern. But this time, it's for a special reason. The 38th annual Mesa County Safety Fair. The Safety Fair is a collection of 30 local exhibitors. Law enforcement, the uh, fire departments, we have uh, the National Weather Service here. All focused on teaching kids how to be safe, no matter what they're doing. We want children to stay safe, whether they're in a construction zone, in the walkway, riding their bicycle. Each booth has interactive setups that help kids learn. And a little something extra. Stickers, I've seen tornadoes. All kinds, of, I guess you'd call it swag. Like these bright yellow hard hats, helping to teach kids how to be safe near construction zones. We actually added vertical construction to show the children how much how many dangers are actually in vertical construction. An exhibit that's become a familiar sight. Last 10 years we've donated a piece of equipment or I have been participating in the in the show. For kids like Kinsey and her classmates. We went last year. Who come year after year but still learn new things. A blind spot could be very dangerous. Tornadoes could be very dangerous. So those leaving the Mesa Mall during the fair's two-day stay won't just be leaving with purchases. Is that like a new cultivation? but with better knowledge on how to stay safe. The Safety Fair will continue tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Mesa Mall, and it's free to attend. For more information on the fair and ways to stay safe in any situation, visit the Mesa County Safety Council's website. We'll have a link to that on westernsoapnow.com.